Let's talk about Donald Trump. He called Putin a genius. You worked very closely with him. Just talk about Trump, Putin, what you saw in the Oval Office and your reaction to what he's saying now. We were on our way to Europe for the famous Helsinki summit and Trump went out to the helicopter to answer questions from the press and he said at one point the meeting with Putin may be the easiest of them all. He has some kind of affinity for strong men leaders around the world and, and I think that's what's at stake here. But it's not based on any coherent policy. It's based on the inner recesses of Donald Trump's imagination about himself. Some Republicans, including them, Trump, are saying this never would have happened on my watch. True or no? Well, Trump has said it wouldn't have happened uh, on his watch because basically anything that Biden does, Trump will react against, whether Biden may occasionally be doing the right thing or not. Uh, but Trump had no idea what the strategic issues were with respect to Ukraine. We tried to talk to him about it. All he cared about was finding that DNC server that Hillary Clinton had used against him in 2016, and he wanted to know where Hunter Biden was getting his income from somewhere inside Ukraine. Uh, and that focus, which is very typical of Trump, it's what is my political stake here, not what are the geopolitical threats to Europe because of potential Russian aggression. It had a very negative impact on the new President Zelensky's effort to get a relationship with the most important leader in the world in the Oval Office. Did you have a reaction to that sort of thing and worry about the future and the geopolitical stakes? Well, I've gritted away a lot of my teeth uh, and have a lot of bites in my tongue from the things that I didn't say because what we were trying to do was keep U.S. Uh, national security policy vaguely on some coherent track. But the way he spoke about Zelensky with Putin gave signals that uh, he didn't respect him and didn't care much about him.